I didn't fucking say that. <laughs> oh my god! Successfully made it to the garage without destroying anything, hopefully. Let's hope it's just a bad carrier bearing and not anything real serious. Because carrier bearings aren't too bad to replace. Something else could be. Usually in situations like this, just to be a little safer, we'll put these tall screw jacks under the hitch or something. All right. Well, that seems all right. Front U joint. Going into the transfer case. Oh, I see. Cause that thing's got a double U joint. Okay. It's kind of a dumb setup. It's weird because you can definitely feel it in the back at lower speeds. Nice, nice well, that wasn't us. Yeah, the carrier bearing seems fine. Normally what we'll see when we see bad carrier bearings is where it's spinning in there will get seized up and it'll rip this rubber out and the whole thing will be jumping around in there, but that seems all right. Just before we decide to be complete idiots, I want to check these tires that one seems okay drive shaft. it is the drive shaft what are you saying watch it with the light oh yeah it's this looks like it's this first U joint now it ain't wanting to move we turn it a little to the other side. Right there it is. Yeah. All right. Cool, U-joints are a little easier than carrier bearings. Yeah, but they're more of a pain in the ass. With that setup? Yeah. Is that? Oh, it's Torx. I thought it was Phillips for a second. I was like, what so the fuck? So die. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, Dodge. Hopefully we still have some good Torx bits. We've broken a lot of them. Start with this, what is this a 50, 45? Try this. Somebody's done work to it before. Wouldn't doubt it. Oh, might have to use, might have to use a Torx wrench. Which 
We don't have any of those. But we did. Uh, let's try it. 30 sloppy, probably like a 35. You don't have a 35. You got a 40 and a 30. Now I need a 35. Fucking sweet. Alright, just so we can get this done a little quicker, time lapse. You can just see how rough it is, how tight it is. Oh shit. What's up? <laughs> Broke. Is that ballers? Oh. That's why it's doing that. So are we gonna have to get a whole new front? I think a whole oh. fucking drive shaft. Wow. Or might be able to just get like that rear or that. Yeah, but I don't know. This is all part of this drive shaft. No, it's not. It's a rubber thing. Okay, it's just the front one. That's a stupid fucking setup. Yeah, why do they need double ones? For that extreme angle, I guess. That's, I don't know, that's pretty dumb. Yeah, it is. I mean, if you're gonna do all that on one side, why still have just one you join on the other end? Yeah, it's a better idea. I guess. I heated this fucker up until it was damn near orange. Cause it's cast? And then welded it. Yeah, I was gonna... So we'll see if that fucking works. I know it's going to sound like a lie now, but I've thought about that before because it's all cast. You usually have to heat up cast to weld yeah, it. Yeah, that's what you were saying earlier. That fucker's crushed back. Yeah, it is. Crushed as fuck. Yeah, there's no way we're getting we, new cap we, in there. We might have to take it up to the drive shaft specialty place. That fucking blows. I wonder how long they've been driving it like that. I don't know. He just sent me a message yesterday saying, on his way to Lansing, saying like, hey, the truck's vibrating like fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Gonna do a little bit of calling around, seeing about different options for this, if we can just replace parts or if we have to get a whole new drive shaft. And we'll get back with you. Fucking being a Friday. Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know in a second. All right, so the verdict is we're going to run it up to a drive shaft shop and they're going to rebuild it basically with all new parts. They said it'd be about 250 to 300. Yeah. So we're going to load it up and hit the road. It's about 10 to 1. Well, at the part, if they were smart, they'd change that too, which makes it go a little higher. I would hope so, but. Yeah, because I mean, if you're going to do it, replace them all. Yeah. But <laughs> how many times have we done that though? All right. Let's load it up and hit the toad. Watch out, Duke. There you go. Drive train specialists. They better be. Oh, shitty. Yeah, guy. Okay. He said he can do it in about 10 minutes. Oh, you did? Yeah, I'm gonna go grab him real quick. 10 minutes for 50 bucks? Yeah. He says, I said, what? I didn't fucking say that. Quick, grab the Yeah, no shit. Grab the blue one. 
I'd be happy with fucking any of them. Look at that. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yep, so you'd have to replace this one too. Oof. Yep. And uh, at that point, it's pretty much. How much I'll is another drive truck. shaft? <laughs> huh? Is that got any wear down there? You got any shock in that end? No, that's fine. Yeah. Well, here's a ration of them. That's the third one in the last like yeah. three weeks. <laughs> um, new ones, what, like four? Like 450. 450? Mm hmm. For CDs. That's a whole new shaft, right? Everything but that flange. But that flange, yeah. Hmm. New U joint, three new U joints, new flange, new H piece, new pin, new tube, new slit and stub, new U joint down there. And reuse yours. Your flange. Your flange, so. Yeah, that's going to be. That stud's going to be, be too bad to get back to because that is, ball's not turning broken. at all. So. It's broke. Flip it over. I seen it. Mm -hmm. That's what I was showing it. Is there any particular reason why they started using that style instead of just like two beefier U joints? Um, less vibration. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like uh, late seventies, <laughs> mid eighties. Oh yeah, they vibrate. I fucking vibrate. They vibrate <laughs> bad when they get like that, and they usually give you a little bit of a warning, right. but not much. I mean, you feel just a little <laughs> bit of vibration. You go, I wonder what that is. That feels funny. Bang. <laughs> That's kind of how they end up going. I mean, we can fix that. It'll be a little bit cheaper, but like, how much for? This piece, I don't remember, wasn't it like 350 or 370, something like that for just. I don't know. Mike, Mike told me that once one cut, one weld, and the balance is 125 dollars. Yeah, just to cut that out. Once piece. you get the and those parts, he said it's pretty much the trade off. It's mm -hmm. it's like within like 20 bucks of a brand new shaft, so it's like you might yeah. as well skip the new one. Well, the whole mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. there. This side and that side. I didn't see this side. Let me go look at my thing and see if I have any. Got any used ones? Any idea like what the turnaround on that would be? Um, a new one would probably be looking at more like a week because I'd have to order it. Super modified. It's a nice truck. It's a nice trailer too. Yeah, no kidding. Even though it's a piece of trash, I like that suburban. All right, so never once to shy away from the dramatic. The drive shaft, they found more wrong with it than we initially thought. So basically, it's going to be completely rebuilt minus one flange that bolts to the front axle. Actually all brand new, except for that one. Except for that one flange that bolts to the front axle. Um, and they have to order a new drive shaft or new parts or whatever, and that'll be about a week. We have to leave in about a week and a half. So if everything works out perfectly, we're still good. If not, if things go sideways at any point, we're taking the truck down there in two-wheel drive, which hopefully won't be an issue, but with the way our luck's going, it could be an issue, going through all some of the storms and stuff. But that also took their estimate from about 250 to 300 bucks up to about 400 bucks. So that sucks. That's not good. I think we'll still be good. Let's just, let's just borrow Andre's truck. <laughs> I thought about asking him. Hey, can we borrow your truck for a week? 